Hey guys, it's Erika, and we are going to be checking out God's Life and Take Me To You Live, sort of live studio version, you know, I reacted to Miracle, the Christmas version, and original live sort of studio thing. So we are here, I just react to everything God's Life, because I love them so much. Um, take Me To You Live, t not Take Me To You Live, Take Me To You. I haven't had a chance to listen to the B tracks to the repackaged, repackaged, yes, it is, um, album. So this is my first time listening to the song, should be fun. A live version, gonna leave me dead, and stuff. So yeah, it'll be exciting for that for me to listen to the song the first time, and then also a, a little special treat that it just happens to be like a live version of it. Even though it's not me listening to the song live, it's a a live. What what it would sound like live but again? It's not the same coming through my shitty speakers and my laptop then versus like seeing it perform live, but. Here we go. <laughs> and I, I like, I totally miss the space bar. I think they've had the same intro for every single one. Of the, these, like, live things. Which I'm cool with. Okay. I like the guitar already. Feeling it. Piano, drums, I don't know they're going to break it down like that, okay. Vocals fam, don't even play. Okay, and does he have three piercings? I don't know, he had like three. That's cool. I always wanted two, but I never got more. I only have one. I really like this song. It's interesting because to me it feels like a GOT7, one of these sort of slower, chiller songs. It sounds like a GOT7 one, but then at the same time there's parts where I'm just like, it doesn't. Which I don't know, it's, it's a weird conflicting going on in my brain right now. It doesn't, it's just not good at interpreting. Mark with the ad libs. It's interesting hearing this first version's live. I have heard up until this album unreleased songs from them, but then they release it with the album. Um, but I, I lost my train of thought. I got distracted. Um, so I have heard God 7 specifically, songs that weren't released for the first time and see, saw them perform live. Um, but it is interesting because I feel like the actual track does not sound anything different than this. Because I feel I, artists have before pers had songs that were never released but were only performed live and never have been released. That has been done before. So... I kind of thought that would, was the situation when I first heard those songs perform live when I saw them in concert. And then they got released later and I'm like, yes, I have actual versions of them song. I can listen to them whenever I want. This was really nice to get, you know, a, a, B, a B track, um, live version of it. Really interesting to hear again like the live vocals and a live band versus hearing the track itself first um just because like again with their vocals and just their skills and i don't like to say talent that's such a point with it and they worked hard to be where they are okay and um because just like i, I feel like again that the beat 
that this song probably doesn't sound too far different in terms of their vocals um, on the track or this live version because there's some artists. It's not it's not a uncommon thing to where artists will tune or alter their voice to be like so consistent and hit a note like very very perfect and, and live sounds different. But just with Got Seven, it's it's the exact same sound and it's crazy to hear that because. There's many times where I've heard artists and then I see them in concert and I'm like, they sound better live than they do on like the studio. What is up with this? And artists to where like you hear them live and you're like, oh, that, that's that's their voice live sort of thing. But um, yeah, they just, that's just, you know, got seven and stuff and it's just, don't be sleeping on got seven. People be sleeping on got seven for a while, but that's okay because that's how I got to see them perform live is because that's able to get tickets. Yay! And stuff. So it's, well, don't sleep. But, yeah, never mind. And so, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, go to your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about Gossam to take me to you live studio version. Your thoughts, comments down below. If you like this video, go to this video, thumbs up. Excuse me. <laughs> um, if you want to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr, Facebook page, all in the description down below or at the end screen. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Share this video with your friends. I didn't, I didn't do my little thing when I said thank you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.